This is Chase Core, Mustang News Network. This is the Mustang Roundup Show, Soccer Edition. We're here live in the studio, brought to you by Daniel Montoya with Monument Realty. Our backdrop here was provided by Nick's and Nax, local business here on Broadway and Andrews. And we're going to go ahead and get right into this soccer edition. I got a special guest in the studio, and I'm going to go ahead and let her introduce herself. Hi, uh, thanks for having us out. Uh, my name's Coach Haley Arruda. I'm the girls coach, the head coach for the Lady Mustang soccer team. Um, I'm actually kind of a kind of a new coach to high school soccer. I played uh, college soccer at Trinity University in San Antonio. Spent a lot of time doing club soccer when my kids were babies and kind of got into this opportunity here when Andrews decided to go full first and have a soccer program. So an exciting opportunity that's awesome we're very glad to have you to have you here in andrews uh, so kind of give me an idea how how many how many years coaching have you been in coaching um i did the high school soccer brand new so this will be my third year doing high school sports awesome awesome and um so can you on the uh, as far as on the ladies soccer side can you kind of give it tell us a little bit about your staff uh, well, kind of a one-man show for a while uh, with a new program. It was me for the first couple of years, but I do have an assistant coach this year. Um, her name is Karina Velasquez. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. And, um, and Miss Karina, is this also her first stop as a, as a high school coach, or has she, she been in there a little bit? No, sir. It's her first stop into high school soccer for sure, uh, yes. but she coached volleyball for 10 to 15 years at the high school level, but... For right. soccer, yes, it, it was a it's a brand new experience for a good number of coaches and people in Andrews, Texas. So awesome, awesome. Can you uh, kind of tell us a little bit about this this season? Uh, how kind of kind of just give us a recap of the year and kind of you know this is a new program getting started in Andrews and kind of give us a, a little idea how the season went. Um, yes, sir. I think this season went way better in terms of wins and losses than our first season. Last year was our first district season, and um, we, we came out second to last in district last year, and we moved up a couple of spots in the win category this year. So overall, uh, we were five and nine, which means we beat several more teams than we did our first year. So it was a season I was proud of our progression, um, not just in the win category, but I feel like my JV uh, we're district champs, so it's showing progress. We're building, and every year we're getting more wins and uh, more progress, both technically and tactically, on the field. Well, and, then, and I know whenever uh, you have a program or a school starts a new sport, I mean, it takes a little time to build it, so progression is always a really good thing. Um, can you kind of tell us how the future looks in the next, let's say, three to four years here in Andrews. How's it looking? Um, yes, sir. I think on the girls' side, it's it's looking good. You're going to see some girls come out here in a minute that are that are younger. Our core group is probably sophomore, junior age. So uh, looking forward into the next couple of years, I really think that next year we might you know see a playoff you know entry for the first time for the girls' side. Um, we just had a bunch of players who've, who've literally never played a game of soccer in their life. And for what we've done in the, the last two years, um, it's been exceptional. Uh, so I really think that the future is bright. And with our core group being a little bit younger for a new program, you're going to see that only get better every year. So um, this last question is, uh, so do they have soccer in, in junior high? Is it only in high school? Yes, sir. They did start it in junior in the middle school, so that's a that's a huge help because that means they're getting some exposure, at least for a year or two before they get to the high school level. So let's say a kid is coming into, or uh, let's say even elementary age, is there is there leagues and things that they can get into here to kind of to, to get ready for that middle school and high school? Yes, sir. They do have a recreational youth program here in Andrews uh, through like the Andrews County Youth Club or whatever. But I don't know of any. I do know that there there now that we have soccer in the middle school and the high school, that there are parents there who are starting club things as well. Kind of like, you know, they do for football and for Excellent. for softball. So the opportunities are there. Uh, it takes a community to grow a program, so those things are coming down the pike. It's just, you know, it's taken a, a few years to get going. Well, Coach, um, is there anybody or 
anybody at the school or anybody out there you'd like to give a shout out to? Um, no, I just want to thank Coach Boswell for being so supportive of us this last couple of years and uh, just all the parents of the Lady Mustangs. We wouldn't have our program and we wouldn't be doing as well as we are if we didn't have support from them. So I appreciate them. Well, Coach, um, we are, we're excited. Uh, I know a couple of years ago when they announced that they were bringing soccer in and all that, uh, it's an exciting time in Andrews and it's a big deal. And uh, down at the local barber shops and things, and I was talking to some guys down there that had some little kids yeah. playing, and and he said, "Oh, you know," and I said, "Oh yeah," and I was like, "You know, give it, give it a little bit of time." I said, "Andrews is going to be really good at soccer." Yes, sir. And, uh, we appreciate everything that you coaches do, the time that you put in, because um, I mean it, it is time consuming and it's a lot of work. Uh, a lot of people out there don't realize the life of a coach. It's, it's you put a lot of work in. It's a lot of time. Uh, we appreciate you, and uh, we are looking forward to see what's coming down the pike in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Coach. Thanks for having us. All right, we're back here live in the studio. This is the Mustang Roundup Show Soccer Edition. I've got a special guest, a lady Mustang soccer athlete, uh, in in the studio, and she's going to go ahead and introduce herself. Hello, my name is Riley Carruth. I am a junior at Andrews High School, and I am on the varsity soccer team. Well, we're very glad to have you on the show. Thank you for coming on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start the question. So what got you interested in, in what got you interested in soccer? I think the fact that it's a new program, um, I was excited to try something out that's new and have other people that are also new to the sport and just get to know. Um, Something interesting, something different. Awesome, awesome. And can you tell me, uh, so what position did you play or uh, positions? This uh, year, I played a forward and center mid, uh, mostly center mid. And um, they're both uh, more offensive positions, but it was very fun. So which one did you like better? Me personally, I prefer being a forward as um, uh, you don't have to run as much. And... Uh, it's cool to see like all your teammates just playing on the field. So let me ask you, uh, in playing soccer and going through this process with your teammates and team and your coaches, what life lessons do you think that, that you learned from playing soccer? I think overall I've learned um, how to communicate and how to work in teams and um, just be able to provide support for teammates that need it. and. The whole team, the team concept, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a, it's a powerful thing, and it's very important in life, not only in sports, but in other endeavors as you get older. Yes, sir. Um, so, <clears throat> moving into the future, can you give me a kid or a couple of names out there that, in your opinion, you're like, let everybody out there in, in Mustang News Network Nation let them know, like, hey, we got some people coming up. And got, we got some good kids coming up. Is there any names out there that you can give me? For sure. I'd say um, Zaida Espinosa, um, Zoe, uh, Briley Sanchez, Emily Sanchez. There's a few good girls coming. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, <laughs> we, you know, we, we're trying to highlight all the sports here. We're very excited. Uh, like I said, we said it before, we were very excited when they announced that Andrews a couple of years ago was getting the soccer program. Uh, not only is it good for the kids and benefits the, uh, the kids, but believe it or not, every, every sport that's out there actually benefits other sports as well. So um, you had a great season. We appreciate you coming on the show. Is there anybody else out there that you'd like to give a shout out to? I'd like to give a shout out to my parents and my friends and of course, Coach Aruda for helping me along this journey. All right. That sounds good. We appreciate you coming on the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, we're back in studio with interview number two, Andrews. Uh, this is the Roundup Show, Soccer Edition, and we have a lady Mustang live in studio, and I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hi, my name is Saira Espinosa. Uh, I'm a sophomore, and yeah. Sophomore. So you you got a couple of more years left. Yes, sir, I do. Awesome. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So you kind of tell me um, what got you into soccer. Um, definitely my family. My family really motivated me. Um, really, without them, I wouldn't be where I'm at in soccer right now. Okay, okay. Um, and so, 
Uh, what position or positions did did you play on the team? Um, I play as a forward, a striker. And okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And enjoyed it. Uh, yes. Yes. Sir. Awesome. Awesome. Um, well, can you tell me playing soccer um, and being part of the team and things like that? Uh, c what life lessons can you take away from playing soccer? Definitely communication and teamwork. Uh, teamwork really got us to where we're at in district right now, and I'm really proud of where we got. Awesome. And uh, so with this program and Andrews, can you give me, an, uh, give me a kid's name that the folks out there need to be paying attention to in the years to come? Um, I would definitely say Haley Carrasco, Ella Rangel, and yeah, that's about it. Right really up. good players right there. Now, is there anybody else out there that you'd like to give a shout out to? My family and friends. I wouldn't be anywhere close to where I'm at right now without them. Awesome. Awesome. Well, uh, you had a great season. We appreciate it. We, we're, we're very lucky and glad that you come on the show. And uh, we're looking forward to watching you the next couple of seasons. Thank, Thank you for you. coming on the show. All right, we're back here live in the studio. This is the Mustang Roundup Show Soccer Edition. I got another interview, Andrew's Lady Mustang soccer player live in studio, and I'm going to go ahead and let her introduce herself. Hi, I'm Zoe Garcia. I'm a sophomore, and I'm on the varsity soccer girls team. Awesome. We're, we're, we're happy to have you on the show. Thank, Thank you, you for coming on. Thank you. Um, so kind of tell me um, kind of what got you interested in uh, soccer. Um, I've always been interest, interested on watch, like watching it on TV and – um, so like when they started in Andrews, you were like, I want to go try that. Yeah. So true. you, so, um, all right. So you started playing soccer in Andrews in the eighth grade. Yes, sir. Okay. So you're one, you're one of the first ones that started in the junior high and moved up to the high school. Yes, sir. I got you. Uh, so what position or positions, uh, do you play in soccer? I mainly play forward, but every now and then whenever coach needs me to, I play wing. Okay. And which one do you like better? Definitely forward. Just so the coaches can make a mental note of that. Yes. All right. And uh, so in the soccer, in playing soccer and being part of a team, is there uh, kind of tell me if there's any life, life lessons that you have learned? Um, I've learned how to communicate better and to never give up, even though you're really not feeling it. And you just you got to get out there and just keep working and keep grinding and keep grinding. I, <laughs> trust me. I know that's a – that's one of the most important life lessons to keep grinding, keep working. It is. Um, so uh, can you give us a name out there of a kid that's coming up that you think that the people out there need to say, hey, this kid coming up looks really good? Um, definitely Emily Sanchez. She Emily has a Sanchez. kick on her. And Ella Ringel. Okay. Blanca Navarro. Um. So y'all out there, y'all heard it here first. So we got to be 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 paying attention next couple of years. Now, is there anybody else out there in Mustang Nation that you want to give a shout out to? Um, my mom, dad, my family, and my friends for keeping me going, making sure I never give up, and just boosting up my confidence. All right. Well, you had a good season. Uh, we appreciate you coming on the show. And we're, we'll be following the next couple of years and keep it going. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. All right, this is the Mustang Roundup Show Soccer Edition. We have another interview, special person in this uh, studio, and I'm going to go ahead and let him introduce himself. Uh, my name is Dave Renfro. I'm the boys' head varsity coach for the uh, boys' soccer team. Um, we ran. Oh, that's it. We, we appreciate you coming on, and, uh, and it's nice to get to meet you. Thank you. Um, you know, talking with Coach Boswell and, and getting all these names and things, and uh, now actually getting to, getting to meet you, and uh, we appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Um, I guess go, let's go ahead and, uh, Coach, and can you kind of tell us a little bit about your background and everything? A little bit about me is I played soccer when I was younger. Uh, I played all through junior high. I played in high school. Uh, I didn't go on to play in college, but I played for several years in the youth programs. Um, after that kind of ended and going on through college and a whole bit like that, um, had my own kids and I 
coached in youth programs with travel clubs, with uh, the different, the various schools I taught at, um, coached at the middle school level. I coached at three different high schools. Um, one of the high schools I coached at, they were ranked five in the country. Oh, wow. So I wasn't the head coach, but it's like I was on that coaching staff, which is really kind of interesting. It was, I learned a lot from the coach, head coach that was there. Uh, I've just, I've coached for over 20 years. Oh, wow. So, I mean, I've got experience with the coaching aspect of the game and um, I do it because I love it. So, Well, um, so can you kind of tell us um, a little bit about your staff? Uh, my assistant right now, as of this year, is uh, Coach Brink, Jacob Brink. Okay. Uh, he's the offensive coordinator for the football team. Yes, sir. So uh, he's a good guy. like having him around. Uh, he brought a few different things to the table. Um, he really knows he could run the boys like crazy. And, I mean, he, he was good. He was learning the game. Uh, he was taking it step by step. So it's like if you haven't played it um, or coached it, it sometimes takes a little bit to pick it up. But he's, he really picked up a lot from it. From what I understand, I'm getting another assistant next year who come, he's coming from the middle school, uh, Coach Vote. He's worked with the kids, the boys, and the girls at the middle school level for the last two years. Good, good guy. So, yeah, good Brian Vote is an awesome coach. We're looking forward to having him up there. We're going to miss Coach Brink. Uh, he brings a lot to the table. Uh, but Coach Vote is – And I well, think he's fixing to go into a marathon, isn't he? He is. He's going to run the Boston Marathon April 15th, I believe it is. So You heard it here. So, pay attention. So he, he's getting ready for that. and I, that's, that's an insane sport to me, but he loves it. So, yeah. But, yeah, he's, he'll be moving up to the high school. Awesome, awesome. Um, well, could you kind of tell us a little bit about this season, uh, kind of how it went and, and things of that nature? This season was a little bit of a humbling experience for my team. Uh, we coming from last year, we finished second in district last year. We, we beat up on a few, a lot of teams last year. So we go into district play or by district play. We played Irvin and lost three to nothing. They're out of El Paso, but the simple fact is we had a stacked team. So we had some seniors that all graduated and we, I thought we were going to lose quite a bit, but the junior class that I have right now is they're a good bunch of boys, but they're a good bunch of athletes. So, I mean, I've got the goalie that's in there, and, and you'll meet him eventually or here shortly. Um, and I've got some – my midfield is a really powerful midfield. They play together. They know how to work that midfield of the, of the, of the pitch. So it's like um, it's – we did really well last year. This year we struggled a bit. We finished uh, four, seven, and three. So – we had some key injuries. Uh, one of our forwards um, tore his ACL against Greenwood. Uh, his brother, who was our holding mid, ripped his meniscus, um, and it just kept wearing down over the last two seasons. So he was out. We lost uh, one of our forward, no, one of our mids, another one of our mids to a nut to a torn ACL. Mm. We had a kid who was another mid. Um, he could play defense and mid, couldn't pass a physical because of his heart. Oh, wow. So we've kind of knocked out of four players that were wow. key players on our team. So, but we replaced them with other players that stepped up. We had some freshmen that stepped up, and they did really well. Awesome. So, awesome. So, um, that's about that goes right into my next question. Mm -hmm. So, how is the future looking? Uh, you said you had some freshmen come up and you got a good junior class that'll be seniors next year. Right. So how, how, how is it looking the next year or two down the pike? I think we're looking pretty good because we have some eighth graders that are coming up. I was just, I rotate my day, the middle school in the first period in the morning and I'll go to the high school and I'll work with the soccer team at the middle school. Uh, there's four of them that are coming up. And I, there's more than that, but there's four of them that I'm looking at, two of which will probably make varsity. Um, there's another one. There's another two that I was watching today, and their defensive skills are, have come a long way. So I like to put them at JV for a little bit, but 
uh, I will eventually pull them up. But we're looking pretty good as far as our talent coming up. Uh, we have some sophomores right now that are doing really well. We've got some speed. There's one kid, um, Sergio. He was brought up to varsity, and he really shined at defense, and his speed is he's fast. So we've got some youth, and we've got some speed, and it seems to work out. You play a team that's a little bit bigger, but the speed they have a hard time controlling. And the formation that we run, we run a lot of outside mids, so we're, we're heavy in the middle, and we'll keep our defense about three or four, but the middle is five. So, yeah, and we like to run. Well, I like for them to run, but sometimes they don't want to run. So I, that's, uh, I could see that. Um, so let's say if there's a, uh, you know, a kid and coming up into junior high and they're interested, and uh, let's just say they, they don't know, but they're interested in playing soccer, what do they need to do? Just get your foot on the ball. I mean, all you really need is just a space, Get out the the field at the high school is always open. The high the football field, the soccer field, the middle school uh, pitch is always open as well. So it's like just just go out, dribble the ball. I mean, if you got cones, if you got pots and pans, stick them on the ground and dribble between them. Um, find someone that you can kick the ball to. Watch it on TV because you learn a lot from watching it on TV. Um, goalie I have now never play at all and. He was watching some YouTubes and things like he was learning. So he'd come to practice, and I've just seen him grow from a kid who never touched the ball in goal, which is a hard position to play, and to go up to getting a compliment from the team that took first place in our district to, like, they hadn't seen a goalie like him. So it's like just start touching the ball, start kicking the ball, passing the ball, dribbling the ball. Just so, the more you do, just the, yep, you just the more you it do, up. the more you learn. Well, Coach, uh, we appreciate um, we appreciate you everything that that you do for the kids. Uh, we're lucky to have you, um, and uh, I, I'm looking forward to the future, and uh, and hopefully like to get out there uh, next year and do some videos for some of the games and That'd things awesome. like that. So we appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Coach. Thank you. All right, we're back here live in the studio. I got another Andrews athlete here live, and I'm going to go ahead and let him introduce himself. Hello, I'm Jesus Zapata, and I'm a junior, and I was a top scorer for this team in high school varsity. Oh, top scorer. Yes, sir. Oh, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Um, so let me ask you something. How many years have you been playing uh, soccer? In high school, I've been playing since I was a freshman, but like I started since I was like six years old. Six years old? Yes, sir. And, uh, and so, um, so kind of what got you interested in it, in, uh, like in soccer, like when you were a little kid? When I was a little kid, uh, my grandpa, I used to sit with him and watch TV soccer, and that's what got me interested into it a little bit more and more. Awesome. And who, who's y'all's team? Uh, I go for Club America. Nice, nice. Yes, um, okay, so um, what, what positions – or what position do you play on the AHS soccer team? I mostly play a right wing, and for a couple of games I was playing a center mid, but I felt more comfortable as a right wing. Okay, so that was my next question. So that's your – you like that better, huh? Yes, sir. I got you. I got you. Um, so kind of tell me what life lessons or uh, things have you learned from playing soccer throughout your life? I, mo I mostly learn not to give up because – any time like you struggle or anything, there's always something better coming up. Good, good answer. Good answer. Um, now, can you give me a uh, give me a young uh, young buck's name out there that the people out there in Mustang Nation need to be watching for in the future? Yes, sir. Next year, uh, he's an incoming freshman, Daniel Alviso. He's a center mid, and he has very good passing and pretty good shot too. Oh, nice, nice. So the future looks bright. Yes, sir. Awesome. Now, is there anybody else out there that you want to give a shout out to? My parents and our goalie. He saved us from a lot of goals. So, pretty good goalie. Awesome. Well, you had a great season. Top scorer. You heard it here. And, uh, man, we appreciate you coming on the show and uh, be look, looking forward to following in the future. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We're back here with another interview. Andrew's Mustang athlete. 
And I'm going to go ahead and let him introduce himself. Um, hi, I'm Angel Garcia, and I'm a junior in high school. All right, Angel. Uh, so let's go ahead and just cut to the chase. Uh, what got you interested in soccer? Um, I mean, since a young kid, I've always watched soccer. Uh, I started watching it since 2013, and I got more into it as the 2014 World Cup came up, and I would always play soccer with my cousins and all that stuff. And who's your favorite soccer player of all time? Definitely Messi. Messi. I mean, the best player of all time. He has the most trophies ever, and he has the most goal contributions in, of all time. Awesome. Awesome. Um, and uh, what positions on the, the Mustang soccer team, what positions do you play? Uh, I played uh, several positions. Sometimes I played left wing when coach wanted me to play left wing. Uh, I played center back, and I play either sides of – Fullback. And what was your favorite position to play? Probably right back. I think right back was my favorite position. Awesome. Awesome. Um, well, kind of tell me, uh, like, for all your years in, in following soccer and playing, what life lessons have you learned? Uh, definitely uh, don't give up too easily. Uh, yeah, sometimes I feel like my, like my team relies on me, and we rely on each other, so I feel like we shouldn't give up. Just keep working. Yes. Keep working. Yes. Um, so can you, can you give a shout out or give a name to a kid that's out there coming up in the future that you think that people need to pay attention to? Uh, maybe uh, Jose Flores, definitely. He's a freshman right now, but he, he'll get good by the future, I think. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And is there anybody else out there you want to give a shout out to? Um, Jesus and uh, my goalkeeper, Leo. Leo, I mean, he impressed me a lot. First year as a goalkeeper and definitely the best one in district. And Jesus carrying us with all those goals he has. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you. Had a, you had a great season. Looking forward to watching you next season. Your senior year will be next year. And uh, we appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, we're back here live in the studio with the last interview. We have Andrews Mustang athlete in the studio. And I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hello, my name is Leonardo Ramos. Uh, I'm a junior, and I'm a soccer player for the Andrews High School. And go ahead and um, uh, kind of tell me what, what got you interested in playing soccer. Uh, I definitely have to say my friends. Uh, I wasn't really thinking about joining soccer until uh, a couple of my friends uh, told me that it was going to come to school, and they really told me to try it out. So you just really got into it, like, pretty recent. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. And um, so um, so you, it, now do you just play goalie, or do you have other positions that you've played as well? I've played uh, left back a couple of games. But your favorite is? Definitely goalie. Goalie. And uh, from what, what I've heard, from what I've heard is that the best goalie in the district. I say I, I'm, so, I'm decent. So you had a great season. We're, we're proud of you. Uh, kind of tell us, uh, is there any life lessons or anything like that you learned from playing soccer? I definitely say that when it comes down to the last point, if you just really focus on what you want to do on your goals, you can accomplish those goals. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, now can you give me a name of a young buck or someone out there that the people out there in the, in the Mustang Nation can say, this dude coming up is going to be a stud? Uh, I'd probably have to say Rake. Uh, he was out for the torn ACL this year, and he didn't really get to show much. And I feel that next year he's going to do really impressive things. Awesome, awesome. And is there anybody else out there that you'd like to give a shout-out to? I uh, definitely have to shout-out uh, Jesus Zapata and Angel Garcia. They just always supported me through it. Definitely Coach Renfro. I don't think I could be at the scale level that I am right now if it wasn't for him. Awesome, awesome. You had a great season. We appreciate you coming on the show and uh, be looking forward to, to continue uh, watching your progress forward in life. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, sir. Sir, thank you. All right, this is going to conclude the Mustang Roundup Soccer Edition. We appreciate uh, the coaches for coming on, all the kids. Um, we appreciate all the time, the effort, uh, blood, sweat, tears uh, that they put into this. Uh, it means a lot to the community and to the school. Uh, also wanted to give a big shout-out to Daniel Montoya with Monument Realty. 
If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff. Also, we want to thank Nick's and Nax for the backdrop here. And we are not affiliated with Andrews High School or Andrews Independent School District. And uh, always remember, folks, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a Mustang. Mustang.